September we Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So, yes, Old Faithful is back. Valentino is back. Why? Cuz I need a break from them dreads, okay? So, today I'm going to give y'all a little story time, okay? And this is about the time that um I had a sweet 16 and stuff got stolen. Y'all want to know what happened. So. You know. We all dream about our 316. Our, our party. And you know. We dream about that day. And we, you know. We're excited. Because you know. That's a milestone in your life. In anybody's life. Female or male. Right. But more so. I guess for us, because you know, us females, we just love to get pretty and to, you know, whatever. So, you know, I had been planning my Sweet 16 for months because, you know, prior to that time, I was, uh, I was in and out of the hospital. I was sick a lot. Y'all gonna hear some noise. They working outside still. Don't know. Whatever. But anyway. So. You know. I was sick. Had a lot going on. Um. And um. I didn't start school. Until late. Because of the fact that I was. You know. In the hospital. Or whatever. Like that. So you know. Me being sick. And me being. My mom's first child. She calls me her miracle baby. You know, she was just like, you know, we're going to have this party. You know, you've gone through a lot. You deserve it. You know, great. Start school, you know, meet some, you know, meet some new friends and stuff like that. And, you know, my birthday's in February. But I had my party in May being that my birthday, that's the time that it likes to start snowing. So, we decided to just do it in May. Why we didn't do it in April? Because it was snowing then, too. So, yeah. So, I, you know, made some friends during the time that I started school or whatever like that. And then, you know, around the time that it was time to start giving out invitations, I was, you know, giving out invitations to people that I've become close with and stuff like that. Me and my cousin went to the same school, so obviously she was already invited, right? So, you know, I had my friends, my people who were at this point my best friends pass out some invitations. Because, one, I'm a very shy person, so, you know, me going up to people saying, hey, can you, would you like to come to my party? I wasn't that type of person, so I had people sending out my invitations for me, okay? And they did it. So... Now, I had a list for about 65 to 90 people to come. It, was a, it wasn't a, a small venue, but it wasn't like a big one where, you know, a whole bunch of people could come, right? So, I invited my classmates, obviously. Um... I invited, you know, people from my other classes that I had, too, right? So, you know, stuff, you know, it, it was, you know, invitations went, were going well, you know. And, you know, everybody was really excited about this party. So, I was excited, too. You know, I got my dress, you know, very, very excited I got my dress my dress was popping my dress was bomb my theme was diamonds are a girl's best friend right so I got my dress gave all my invitations invitations popping um so everybody is talking about this party oh I can't wait for your party this that and the other thing right we gonna skip to the birthday part the party so it comes around May 6th, 2008. That entire morning 
was just um it was it was it was bad <laughs> it was bad so i didn't go to school that day it was a friday i didn't go to school because i obviously had to get ready um but my my teachers knew that i wasn't coming to school for that reason so i go you know wake up get you know get take a shower get dressed go get my hair done or whatever my hair came out perfectly fine just like how i wanted it right my sister at the time she was eight or nine she was supposed to get her hair done a certain way and her being her she decides that she's not going to get her hair done the way that it was supposed to be done she's going to get her hair done however she wants to get it done so that was that she got yelled at great then i go get my nails done no, I didn't get my nails done that day. I didn't have, I didn't, I didn't get nothing done. I just got my hair done. I didn't get no makeup, no nothing. It was just, we're going to get to that. So, got my hair done. Hair is done. I'm waiting for my neighbor to come pick me back up. I get in the car. And she's just like, me and so-and-so just had an argument. Her and another um, neighbor of mine who I don't care for anymore had an argument about a poster that was being made for my party. So if any of you have ever had a Sweet 16 during the 2008, 9, 7, 6 era, you know, you probably had different things. I had a poster with my picture on it where people could sign their names and say happy birthday and stuff like that. I still have that poster to this day. I got it done. Um, I had taken pictures months before from the person, that woman's husband. She, he was a photographer. So they they were at my house with my mother. Don't know why they did this around my mother. And something had happened with... Somebody said something because something wasn't done right on the poster and... Oh, well, you don't know what the F you're talking about. And, well, it's supposed to be like this. You ain't mother effing doing it right. My mother is having an anxiety attack. Y'all know, like, listen, anybody that know my mama, you ain't supposed to be doing any type of craziness around my mother. My mother can't take it, okay? My mother is trying to defuse the situation at the house. I'm getting my hair done. I don't even know what's going on, <laughs> okay? I'm down the block. I don't know what is going on. So, that happens. So the neighbor who was picking me up, she didn't start the argument. It was the other one who I don't mess with. She started the argument. Why? Because that's what she does. So she comes and picks me up. She's like, so me and her had an argument about the poster and this, that, and the other. I was like, are you guys serious? And it got to a point where they were about to fight. I'm just like, seriously, this is how we starting this off? Great. So then, that happens, Right? I get home, the other neighbor's at her house now, this one back in her corner, everybody's away from each other at this point. I go to put on my dress and stuff like that, right? Now, a lot of females on the 616 have dates. I was supposed to have one. My next door neighbor uh, her great grandson who I had the biggest crush on since kindergarten he was supposed to be my date okay that did not happen why some issues with family his mom or something like that and so that just did not happen that just that was just I was just like okay so it's getting it's getting worse great so that occurred this night just was just like, okay. I was supposed to get my makeup done by the neighbor who started the argument. Her daughter was supposed to do my makeup, and that never happened. So, here I am. Hair done, dress, no date, no makeup. Great. What else can happen? Starts to rain. Mind you, I had curls in my hair. 
okay I had Shirley Temple curls they weren't even Shirley Temple they were just like really they were like really tight curls in my head okay and um, I don't have a picture of what it looked like before but I might insert a picture of what it looked like after so it's rains I'm just like this just this just can't get any worse can it so that happened we're driving to the venue the venue was down the block from my house get out the car I wait in the lobby for a minute because they want me to do an entrance. I did my, you know, I was going to do an entrance. So, I came into the song, to Fergie's song, um, Glamorous Life. So, I'm walking in, like, mind you, I'm nervous, but then as soon as I start walking in, I'm just strutting my stuff, doing what I do, whatever like that. Great, right? In the midst of me strutting my stuff, I slip and fall. <laughs> This day just gets even just 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 so much better, doesn't it? Great. So, you know, that happens. Both neighbors are at the party. Who had the fight? They're at the party. They're in their separate corners. Everything is great. Everybody's there. All my friends are there. I see gifts. One of my friends who I love so dearly, she was the coolest white girl I've ever met in my entire life. I loved her so much. She bought me a Juicy Couture bag. Okay. Now, stay with me with this one. She bought me a Juicy Couture bag. It was on the table with the rest of the gifts. Okay. Now, I saw the Juicy Couture bag, and I saw that it, it wasn't even a bag, it was a wristlet, but the fact that it was a Juicy Couture bag, it was Juicy Couture. At that time, during those years, Juicy Couture was popping, and everybody had a Juicy Couture bag, a wristlet, an outfit, shoes, whatever. So I had, she had bought me a Juicy Couture, you know, item. I see all my gifts on the table, right? I don't know what happened throughout the night. All I know is that, you know, you know, things started to get a little bit better. You know, the party was popping, the food was good. I got everything I wanted, you know. Right? So, I'm going to say this. We have family members. We all have family members. I'm talking about all of us, including you that's watching. We all have family members who have sticky fingers. We all have friends who have sticky fingers. If you don't know what sticky fingers is, that means they steal. Now, like I said, I had a wristlet from Juicy Couture that was bought for me by a friend. I have four people in this uh in, in in my party who are who are who are known to be thieves okay now three of these members that were at the party are family members they are known to be thieves one of them was a friend of mine who's known to be a thief now the reason why they were invited is because one, my mother invited the three uh, family members, which one, I really didn't want them there, but you know, my mother, you know, my mother, you know, she wanted family to be there. So she, you know, invited them. Great. Um, I invited this friend because, you know, at the time, it's not that I didn't know that she was a thief. It was the fact that, you know, she's not going to do this here because, you know, she's a friend and I'm inviting her to an event, you know, because she probably doesn't get invited to anything else. So let me invite her here. Right. Great. So. The night is going smoothly. Everything is great. We dancing, lip gloss popping, song is popping off. We singing and dancing and, you know, twerking and doing whatever we do, you know? Great. 
Um, there was another party going on in another room, in the bigger room, which I really wanted the bigger room, but, I, you know, there wasn't really not that many people coming to my party anyway, so there was a bigger room, and I noticed that some, me and my mother noticed that some of the girls were leaving my party to go to the bigger room to see what was going on but apparently it was one of my friends my one of my close friends her I guess cousin was having a party or whatever like that so she went to go be nosy or whatever like that great so that's fine right so you know we get to the end of the party close to the end of the party we're doing the uh candle lighting ceremony which you know I did the 16 candles. I said my little speech to everybody, family members, friends, whoever I felt the need to give candles to. Um, so. The party is, at this point, done. We're cleaning up, packing up. Um, my, my, my juicy couture uh bracelet is is no nowhere to be found now i'm gonna say this i don't know who stole it like i told you there's four people in this party at this point th that are known for being thieves um there are three family members that are known to be thieves there is a friend that is known to be a thief so i am going to put blame on within the four people that i know that are thieves um, to this day, I still don't know who has my wristlet. I don't know who, I don't know who had it. Um, <laughs> so, I'm like, you know, we taking everything home. I'm like, where's my wristlet that so-and-so gave me? I don't know. My mother's like, wait, that's weird because I've seen it too. Where, where would it have gone? Somebody stole it. Okay. The same time, my mother went home barefoot because somebody stole her shoes. Like I said, I'm going to say this again, there was four people at this party that are known to be thieves. So, if they can steal a wristlet, they steal shoes, okay? So, somebody went home with my mother's shoes. Don't know why, don't know who, don't know what you want with a nine-foot uh, shoe. I, I, don't under, I, I don't understand, I can't fathom the thought that somebody would take somebody's shoes who is wearing them she has no socks on you had she had no socks on and she had on just her shoes and you took her shoes home so let's let, let, let me try to understand that um so at this point we have two items that are stolen my bag and my mother's shoes okay so to this day like i said i still don't know who who stole but i know that there were four suspects in this place in this uh event who are known to grab things without uh asking um so the only reason why i think it's three family members there was a family member who i had an issue with prior to this party um due to a myspace situation that happened um prior to this situation that's another story for you know so that's the next story time we're gonna get into that too so stay tuned for that um so i think that it could have probably been her because she felt the need to make smart remarks and comments you know prior to the party um I think it's another family member because she just does things because she thinks it's funny. And then I think it's another family member who happens to be the mother of one of the family members who had a problem with me due to the MySpace situation who happens to be a thief. And that's probably why her children are thieves. But, you know, that's fine. And then you have um, the friend who's a thief because she... Uh, like I said, is known for stealing things. Like she stole my MP3 player, and I didn't see my MP3 player until the next year because I went in her bag and stole my MP3 player back. So to this day, like I said, I still don't know where it is. It was a really nice bag, and I know my friend spent a lot of money for that bag for me not to have it, and I was really pissed. So the next day, I go to school. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just observing. 
I am observing everything and everyone that was at this party. Every female that was at this party. Because none of the boys came to my party. It was a majority of the girls. Now, could I be wrong about the four people who I think it could have been? Yeah. Could it have been somebody that I wouldn't suspect? Yes. But like I said, there are four people at this place who are known to have sticky fingers and they, they, they do things like this. So, I am in school now and I see one of the people that was at the party who was known to be a thief. And it was the friend. The friend is walking around with her candy box because we also, we had a candy bar. Like a, literally a bar with candy. Okay, where you can take candy home in a, uh, they, we had a, those Chinese boxes that the rice comes in and stuff like that. We brought, we had those and my mom had decorated those and she put them on the table and had bowls of different kinds of candies. She had that with her. She had brought that to school with her and I'm just like, okay, I see her candy box. I see everybody with their candy, candy box. But let me see if I see my wristlet on her arm. <laughs> because if I see it on her arm, I'm beating her up. Period. On sight. Now, mind you, this girl is like 10 times bigger than me, but I have the strength of a man. Um, so, <laughs> I don't see the wristlet on her. I see the wristlet on no one. And I'm just like, where is my wristlet? I just don't understand. I don't understand where my wristlet is, and I really don't understand why my mother's shoes are missing and why my mother had to come home barefoot. Like, my mother literally had to walk all the way up a hill with no shoes on. No socks and no shoes. So, from that day on, anything else that I had, any other event that I had, they were no longer invited. Um, they were no longer invited because, one, they, they, they began to be fake after the party. Um, and then, you know, you can't trust people because people are going around stealing juicy couture bags. I don't understand that. Um, so, we don't speak. I don't speak to that individual anymore. I do speak to, however, the two family members, the, the three family members, I do speak to them still. Yes, I do. I just watch my things around them because they're thieves. So, <laughs> um... His life lesson to all my subscribers observe your surroundings keep things close to you don't ever leave a bag around if you have an event lock all your stuff up in a room somewhere because people will steal they don't care that it's you they will steal your stuff and act like they never seen it they don't know what it is they ain't never seen it in their life they never heard of it okay so yeah uh, <laughs> um yeah I don't, I don't, I, I can't fathom the thought that people think that it's okay to just be out here stealing. Like, if you steal, you cheat. If you cheat, you lie. And I just, you know, don't understand it. So, that is the end of this video. This is video is long enough. <laughs> so, we're going to get into the other story about the MySpace situation. So, I'm going to catch y'all later. All right?